Chris's lab dig. He's gonna have That's a... how you take a great signal and you ruin it. You turn the camera. I done told you that. I told you. Alright. Maybe this will be once in a wild time that it's actually gonna be a silver dime. Antis right there. You want to buy it? I'll, I'll sell it to you. No, I'm it's right there. No, I'm live digging. I ain't buying you sure. Crap. I ain't deep enough. Uh -huh. uh, what do you mean? It's, some of those pennies come out that shallow. Yeah. Uh -oh, uh -oh, I see, uh -oh, uh -oh. I see silver. I see a glint. Hi, right, everybody. It's a nice Saturday morning back in Josh's neighborhood, northern North Carolina. We got a nice little place to hunt. Supposed to have been a site of an old post office. Well, it is a site of an old post office. An old one room schoolhouse and possibly some muster grounds. And we're going to get at it, see what we can find out of it. And it sounds like it's going to be a pretty good day. And, uh, but no, we're not going to find anything. We're not going to find anything. So. But, uh, as most always, uh oh, I'm a, I'm a strap in the way. We got, uh, Chris the Professor Watson. We got Josh keeping it real, Mangum. And just Chuck. Just Chuck. Just Chuck. Just Chuck. No special name for me. I haven't earned a name yet. Kind of like Billy the Kid. But we're going to get at it. We're going to take you along, so uh, gear up, get your detector out. Let's go to metal detector. Go find some relics. Be right back. Chris got a nice little old find, an old silver earring. I think that's what it is. Yeah, looks like it. Mm -hmm. Little flowered earring. Mm -hmm. How deep was it? Uh, it's about three inches deep, but it gave a good signal being that deep. Yeah, that's, that's the hasp for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it did. <clears throat> There we go. All right, well, there it is. That's awesome. Second dig. Yeah, second hole. All right, well, I got my first good target of the day. A nice little, looks like a charm. It's hard to tell. It's, I think it's the top. Yeah. 27. Huh? It's 1827. Alright, cool. And Chris just got a wheat penny. Wheat penny. 1927. Yeah. yeah. Might have to That's our tile. Slow down around here and see what we can find. Be right back. Chris's live dig. That's how you take a great signal and you ruin it. You turn the camera. I done told you that. I told you. Alright. Maybe this will be once in a wild time that it's actually going to be a silver dime. Dun, dun, dun. Antis. Right there. You want to buy it? I'll sell it to you. No, I'm it's right there. No, I'm live digging. I ain't buying you sure? Crap. I ain't deep enough. Uh -huh. uh, what do you mean? It's, some of those pennies come out that shallow. Yeah. Uh -oh, uh -oh, I see, uh -oh. I see uh -oh. silver. I see a glint. There's a silver. I see a glint. Look at there. He was right. A successful. Oh, what do we got? Uh, it's a mercury. Mer mercury. Mercury. What year? I don't know. It's out of focus. Hold on. Here, let me help. Nineteen twenty-six, I believe. You see? Oh, now it's a nineteen twenty-eight. Yeah, twenty-eight. Nineteen twenty-eight Merc. Oh, cool. All right. Good deal, man. Hey.
Hey, a live dig that was successful. <laughs> what do you think about that, boo? Yeah. <clears throat> you know, funky looking earring. I think it's silver. Looks silver on the front, but looks like it might be plated on the back. I'm not sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say silver. What do y'all think? Uh, but that's my second piece of jewelry here today. Looks pretty good. Josh and them have moved on over here into the front yard. We're trying to locate where the post house might have been. I think everything I'm getting here is from this church. Um, Chris has dug a mercury dime and there's been a few wheat pennies and a little, little bit of jewelry. So we're not sure where, you know, I'm I'm pretty sure it's coming from the church, this stuff here. But we're going to keep at it till we find something good. We'll be right back. Adios. 1912. We've got a V-nickel. We've got a V-nickel here. I'm going to take it in. Some kind of rough shape. Yeah. Been through the ringer. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. The coin man strikes again. Uh, Josh got a little ball button. Go, man. I've got some here I haven't dug in a while. Got a big penny large scent. Looks like a matron head. Not real sure yet. Uh, this, you can see the head. Right. See the head. I'm going to have to come back with you and Get it brushed off. Sweet. Be right back. I'm gonna brush. See if I can brush it off. And get a date and everything. Be right back. Yeah. Uh, as he should have. Yeah, yeah. I don't see where he That's saw it, but. Family money right there. That's old family money. It's in good shape there. 1828. Good night. <laughs> All right. Let's see if there's another one out here. That's the third one that's come out of this spot. Might be some more. Let's go get it. All right, we're going to do a live dig. He's got a solid uh, 86? 88. 88. That's what that large scent was. It was like 86, 88. What we got here? Uh oh. Ah, uh, it was looking like it. Oh well. Well, we had one successful live dig today, anyway. Peace for the Nice little Indian head, 1907. It's in really good shape. Dug it right here beside Josh, the Indian head king. I'm losing my touch. It's losing his touch. They've done past the torch. Cool. And then you dig a buffalo right over here? Right back there. Dig a buffalo nickel over there. 1907 Indian head. I'll just put it over here with my large scent. We'll be back. 